Babe, there you are. I think it's time we say the L word. No. I don't want to say it. I've already lost someone because of that word. Don't worry. You don't have to say it. I'll say it. I love- No, don't say it! I don't- I love you. Who are you? Where am I? I'm scared! We've got a memory loss. Take him away! It's mom. Mom? Mom? She has no memory left. How would she know how to use a phone? Did you just say your mom has no memory? How is she not taken away yet? No. She has her memory. I was just joking. Mom, mom, I came running back from school. Is everything okay? Are you okay? I'm your mom? I think you called by mistake. Memory, please. Open up. Come in. We're taking your mother. No, no, you can't. She's all I have. Take me with her. Your memories are intact. I love you. I'm going to choose the hate apple. I need to know who my hate is. Hey, that way, I can find the baby. I can breathe. Hits the tripod. <laughs> no thanks, I don't need anyone. No thanks, I don't need any help. Go find someone else. <laughs> Happy 14th birthday, sweetie. Thank you. What is this? That's your soulmate clue. You're 14 now. That means every year on your birthday, you're going to receive a clue that will lead you to finding your soulmate. What does it say? Your soulmate has brown hair and brown eyes. They're the same age as you, but live in a different city. That's not very specific. Don't worry, you're going to receive a clue every birthday and the clues will get more specific. Happy 15th birthday! Your soulmate's favorite color is blue. I love blue too. He's often seen volunteering at his local shelter in his city. Now I just need to figure out which city he lives in. Happy 16th birthday! You'll learn about your soulmate's past here. And then it shows an address. You can't go to the address. It's not safe. Mom, that's not fair. I said no. I'm sorry, Mom. I have to go. That was insane. I have never run from the cops before. You know, Red, it's something that will happen often. I meant to ask you, why did you originally lie about being Red? You seem so proud of it. I knew my parents would disown me if they found out, so I pretended. But now the secret's out. I can never go back. All right, friends, what is the plan next? Look over there. A bunch of people assigned white. Let's get them. This is going to be so much fun. Let's go. Brianna, are you coming? What? No. Stop. Leave them alone. I can't believe you guys did that. You attacked them. It's our nature. It's what we do. We're reds. It's wrong. You're one of us now, okay? You need to start acting like it. I'm nothing like you. I'll never be like any of you. Where's your red? From here on out, I have no assigned color. Mother, may I? Stop playing Mother, may I? <laughs> you may. I'm free. I'm free. Thank you, Mother. Mother, may I? Stop playing Mother, may I? No, you may not. You may play Mother, may I for all eternity. No, but that's not fair. Too tired. I'm just gonna take a nap and go home to my family. Emma! It's not fair. Mother let you stop playing Mother May I and not me. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna end you. Emma! <laughs> Emma, Emma. You forgot to ask. Mother May I? You gotta get out of here. There's gonna be a target on my back if people find out I beat the game. The door's locked! Who's there? Who are you? Show yourself! Mother's here. How many words did you get this year? Zero? That's even less than last year. It's okay, baby. Don't be upset. How about I take you shopping? It will cheer you up. You like that dress? Alright, let's go buy it then. Oh, you want to try it on first? Alright, let's go. I'm very sorry, sir, but it's only one person per change room. No, I have to come with her. She's going to need help with the zipper. Don't worry, sir. I'll be there to help her with that. Please wait here. Oh, it looks like you got the zipper just fine on your own. Help me. Help you? I... Do you know that man? Oh, wow. She can't move for 7,000 hours? That's a lot. Um, are you doing the robot right now? Yeah. You're not supposed to move. Oh, no, I forgot. So, 
What's this timer for? I don't know. It's probably a timer until they come and execute you for moving. Seriously? All because I did the robot? What are you eating? Raw onions. I want to eat my favorite meal before I go. And your favorite meal is chopped up raw onions? Don't knock it until you try it. There's only one minute left. I love you, Bestie. You're the best friend that I could ever have. I love you. Don't go, Bestie. <laughs> It's at zero. This is it. It's over. Nothing's happened yet. Maybe you're safe. Oh no. Red Rover, Red Rover. We call Brianna over. Mommy, there's little girls calling me. You need to find them. They'll be holding hands and you need to break through or they'll take you. <gasps> <laughs> Come join us, Brianna. You're almost out of time. <coughs> this morning... Little girls called me to play Red Rover. My mommy says it's not real. It's just a myth. It's a fake story. You're lying. No, it's not. I saw them. I had to break through their hands. Stop lying. Red Rover, Red Rover. We call Ellie over. Who's there? Who's calling me? Ellie, do you hear them? The little girls? You need to find them and break through or they'll take you. I don't believe you. Hurry up. You only have 20 seconds. No, no, it's not real. Ellie, hurry up. This crown is over 1,069 years old and it belonged to a princess. Now don't touch it or look at it too long. Let's continue on the tour. No one would notice if I just... Your Majesty, it's the princess. Oh, no, I'm not. The princess is alive? No, I just... What are you doing with the crown? I told you not to touch it. A thug! She's going to rob the place! What? No, I'm not- I'm calling the police. <coughs> police, there she is. She's armed. No! Never mind, the thug left. We're safe. So weird. I'm becoming what I wear. Maybe if I dress popular, I'll become popular. Can I get a picture of you? Yeah, of course. Whoa, what is she doing here? Wow, I must be some kind of celebrity. What is a corn star doing at our school? Nurse or construction worker? I can't risk it. My mom's a nurse. Seriously, you just killed my dad. I'm so sorry. I didn't know. Our friendship is over. Bestie, wait! Did you hear? She killed her best friend's dad. She's so sick. <sighs> Get out of the way, loser. Hey! Unfortunately, one of your classmates passed away today. Brianna did it. She keeps choosing people to die all the time. Kick her out of the school! Honey, how was school? Horrible. Everyone hates me because of my curse. I'm so sorry. I just got another one. Teacher or a rapist? This is easy. Wait, don't choose yet. All right, what sense do I lose today? Smell. That's easy. Who needs to smell anything anyways? What sense did you lose? I lost smell. That's great! You know my hearing still works fine, right? Oh no, look who's coming this way. What? He's cute! Hey Brianna, would you like to be my date for prom? No. <laughs> yes, of course! Awesome. Ew, I can't believe you just said yes to Stinky Sam. Stinky Sam? Yeah, he reeks. Ew, it's Sam! He smells so bad. Guys, stop! It's not our fault he stinks. Get him out of here. Hey, I understand if you don't want to go to prom with me because I smell. Sam, no, I don't care how you smell, even though I can't smell anything today. I like you for you, no matter how stinky you are. Mom, what's on my face? Oh no, you got an X. You need to cover it and put a check mark right away or else they're going to get you. Who? Oh, thank goodness you're safe. You got a check mark. I've located an X. Please don't do this. <coughs> Everyone report immediately for your symbol check. So, what happens if you have an X? Those with X's are eliminated to stop overpopulation. You're only safe if you have a check mark. Next, please. I'm next. Don't worry. You have a check mark. You'll be fine. You're good. Next. I said next. Are you crazy? What are you doing here? Jimmy, listen. I didn't, didn't do, do it on purpose. purpose. J Jimmy, don't say it. I'm not going to say Jinx either. I feel bad about what happened to Timmy. You literally just said it. I'm so sorry, Jimmy. Hey, kid. I know that you jinxed the other officer. I saw it all in the security footage. Stop, Stop right, right there. there. Jinx!
Where do you think you're going? Like go of me! You stay right there. You're in big trouble. Young, Young lady. lady! Jinx, I knew you were going to say that. Hey mom, I'm coming home early. Sweetie, what have you done? The police are here looking for you. Mom, everything's gone out of hand. I kept talking at the same time as people, and then I said the J word because I was afraid, and then the officers came and I said it on purpose because I was scared they were gonna take me away. Jinx. Good, Good morning. morning. Mom. I'm not going to say it. I know that neither of us would ever say that word to each other. Goodbye, sweetie. <laughs> say bye-bye, Brianna. No, no, I'm not infected, I'm telling you. Look at my face. I'm not laughing. No, I saw you, you were laughing. You must have been seeing things. <laughs> tell me, <laughs> tell me the cure for the laughing disease. <laughs> I, I don't know, let go of me. Come with us, Brianna. Where am I? Who are you? What do you want from me? We need to know how you got cured from the laughing disease. What's the secret? Look, I don't know how I cured the disease. If I knew, I'd tell you. Let me see your arm. What are you doing? We're injecting you with the laughing disease so we can know your secret. No! <laughs> Everyone, put your mask on so you don't catch the laughing disease. She's laughing too much. We have to get rid of her or else we'll catch the laughing disease. Have you guys ever thought that maybe the laughing disease isn't deadly? You just kill everyone who gets it because you're afraid. <laughs> Jimmy, listen. I didn't, didn't do it on purpose. purpose. J Jimmy, don't say it. I'm not going to say Jinx either. I feel bad about what happened to Timmy. You literally just said it! I'm so sorry, Jimmy. Hey, kid. I know that you jinxed the other officer. I saw it all in the security footage. Stop, Stop right, right there. there! Jinx! Where do you think you're going? Like, go of me! You stay right there. You're in big trouble. Young, Young lady. lady. Jinx, I knew you were going to say that. Hey, Mom, I'm coming home early. Sweetie, what have you done? The police are here looking for you. Mom, everything's gone out of hand. I kept talking at the same time as people, and then I said the J word because I was afraid, and then the officers came, and I said it on purpose because I was scared they were going to take me away. Jinx. Good, Good morning. morning. Mom. I'm not going to say it. I know that neither of us would ever say that word to each other. Goodbye, sweetie. These gummies went viral on TikTok not too long ago, and I found them at the dollar store, so I'm like, I have to make a video trying these. These gummies are not famous for their taste, they're famous for looking so immaculate and beautiful. Comment on which fruit gummy you think is the best. Strawberry, grape, pineapple, or green apple. Okay guys, it's taste test time. We're gonna be trying the pineapple. It's kind of like plastic. It's, it's not that good. Hi, so recently I've been really into online shopping and I got some really cute clothes from Now Rain, so I'm gonna show you what I got. First things first, I got this black blouse. It's super cute. And then I also got this black
take the bullets out. When I gave you that big, long hug when you greeted me. How didn't I notice? Simon says, leave this town and never show your face here again. Uh, I gotta get out of here. Hi, young lady. Where are you walking all alone at night? Simon says, sew your mouth shut. No, I got a Simon says, I, I can't. Grandma, I'm home. I'm so proud of how tough you've become. I kind of like being Simon nowadays. But from now on, I want to be in charge. You'd really kill your own father? Okay, make a wish. How many years did you get? But you'll only be 17. Don't worry. I'm sure she'll find a nice, handsome prince to marry. I hope so. Your birthday soon. Have you chose a prince you'd like to marry? No. All the princes I've met so far are just not for me. Hello, princess. Prince William. I heard you're looking for a prince to marry. How about me? I'd rather drop that. <laughs> well, that's what's going to happen. I heard Prince William likes you. Yeah, but he's not my type. You don't have much time left. Maybe you can learn to love him. You are to marry Prince William. Final decision. But mother, I don't like him. Enough. You don't have enough time left. You must marry a prince in two days. Who said I even like princes at all? Excuse me? What if I like a princess? Uh-oh, the poisonous gas is being released. Hurry, hold your breath. All right, everyone, here's your gas mask. It will stop you from breathing in the poisonous gas being released. Uh, excuse me, I didn't get one. There's not enough gas masks for everyone. The families with the highest incomes are given it first. But that's not fair. The rest of us are going to die. We can't keep holding our breath forever. You'll have to try. Oh no. It's not fair. They get masks and we don't. It's like they're trying to get rid of us. I know. And the times we're getting to hold our breath are getting longer and longer. Come on, pick up the pace. Keep running! I can't! I'm out of breath! What? I now pronounce you husband and- Wait! I need you to do the flower test. Right now? Yes, I have to be sure. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. You don't love me. Why would you agree to marry me if you don't love me? I thought I did, but I wasn't sure. No, you knew. Because if you really loved me, you wouldn't even have to think about it. Truthfully, there's someone else. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, that was embarrassing. I love you, Timmy. Brianna, I love you too. I've loved you since I was six years old. What? But I did the flower test and you didn't love me back. It must have been wrong. Try it again. The flower test doesn't lie. Please, just one more time. He loves me. He loves me not. Welcome to the Harvard interview. Now, before we get started, we're going to have to ask you to remove your foundation. What? Why? We received a tip from someone that you have an unfulfilled promise. I'm sorry, but this is just protocol. All right, so I was lying. I have an unfulfilled promise, but I meet every other requirement and then some. The interview's over. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. How'd the interview go? They found out. They said they received a tip from someone. But how is that possible? No one else but us knew. Hey mom, the interview's over. Can you come pick me up, please? Thank you so much for the heads up on Brianna. Yeah, of course. I wouldn't want someone getting to Harvard dishonestly. Your interview is tomorrow. You make a great candidate for Harvard. Thank you so much, sir. Here, Grandpa left these for you in his will. Cord headphones? These are ancient. They're not even compatible with the phone I use. Just take them. They were very important to him. Hello? Hello? See that little girl in front of you? The one with the braids? That's my daughter. Recently, she lost her favorite teddy bear I gave her. You need to tell her where it is. It's in the attic, in the purple cupboard. Please let her know. Why don't you tell her? Because I'm dead. Cord headphones? Those are ancient. Hello, it's Sophia's father. I have a message for her. It's your dad. My dad's gone. I can't hear anything. This isn't funny. I'm leaving. So you got the headphones. Whew. Well, I guess that makes sense. My soulmate wouldn't be 
hiding in my bedroom. It still hasn't gone up yet. Hi, Brianna. Derek, hi. Guess you're not my soulmate. What? Mom, I'm home from school. No way. My soulmate's near my house? Honey, your sister will be coming over with her new fiance. You can finally meet him. That's great. It's so loud. It's too loud in here. Hi, I'm Chad. It's great to finally meet you. No. Brianna, what's wrong? Spring is here and I don't have any cute clothes to wear. I have just the thing. Here, try this on. Wow, this outfit is so cute. Where's it from? It's from Halara. It's the Cloudful Yoga Backless Tank Top and the Cloudful Crossover Tennis Skirt. I love the crossover waistband. It really makes me look cinched at the waist. And the built-in shorts and pocket on the side are a must-have. Seriously, Bessie, this outfit is so cute. I'm definitely going to wear it when I play tennis this weekend. You be the stepmother, I be the princess. Um... Princess. Sissy, they time it. Rhyme it. You'll be the stepmother, I be the princess. Hurry up, Sissy. They time it. Rhyme it. You'll be the stepmother, I be the princess. We play just like recess. I do shoot. I want to dispute. We time it and she didn't rhyme it. <gasps> She's still breathing. She might not be leaving. Please let me try and save my sister. I'd miss her. Go, but tell anyone about this and I'll know. She's going to be okay. You can visit her where she stay. Sissy, I missed you, little Missy. One of our partners nearly killed your sister. Tell us what happened with the mister. He timed it and she rhymed it. He shot her by mistake. His mind must have been on break. Why you lie about the guy? Mom, I'm back. Why did you only get five bottles of air? I asked you to buy a case. I know, but your card was declined, so I stole it. You stole them? What if the police catch you? What was I supposed to do? We were out of air. I had no choice. Just drink your air. Don't worry about it. I need to get more air for my family. I'm only going to ask nicely once. Put all the air you have into this bag right now. No, I'm calling the police. I didn't want to. What is that? <laughs> ah, my eyes! Yeah, Mom, I grabbed as many bottles as I could. Mommy, can I have a bottle of air? It's hard to breathe. I'm sorry, honey, but I don't have any bottles left. It's too expensive now. Just close your eyes and rest. I'm scared. Here, I got lots of bottles. You can have some of mine. That must be my soulmate. Did you send your address to Mr. James? You made a big mistake. Your address is permanently on Mr. James' face. He will have to wear a mask from now on. I'm really sorry. I wasn't thinking. I just really wanted to meet my soulmate. If you try and contact him again, you'll pay. Yes, sir. Brianna, you got another mark on your face from your soulmate. Oh, it's Hard Eyes. Did you meet him? No, some big scary guy came to my house saying, If you try to contact Mr. James, you'll pay. The Mr. James? Who? No one's ever seen Mr. James before, but allegedly he's the son of one of the most dangerous mafia bosses in the world. Brianna, look at your face. He must need help. What should I do? Nothing. It's dangerous. Come with me. Brianna, what's your first choice for a name? Anita Dump. Then you should probably go use the bathroom. No, that's the first choice I have for a name. I'm obviously not going to choose that one. I already chose my name. It was my first option. Really? What'd you choose? Joe King. <laughs> You're joking. No, I'm not joking. I'm serious. That's the name I chose. Jenny Talia. Aw, oh, that name sounds so pretty. I'm gonna choose it. No, come here. I'll tell you what it sounds like. I am not choosing that name. Yuri Nadine? I'm obviously not going to choose that one. Wait, you only get a certain amount of passes. If you don't choose in time, you'll be nameless. So you think I should choose urinating? It's better than being nameless. Well, you're joking. I'm not joking around, Brianna. Choose carefully. Take off your glasses so I can see your beautiful eyes. I don't know. It's not really safe. Come on, Brianna. I just want to see your eyes. You know you can trust me. 
Okay. Give me those. I spy with my little eye, Chad. Give me back my glasses. No way. I lost mine. Catch me if you can. I spy with my little eye, the wall. I spy with my little eye, Chad. I spy with my little eye, my vision blocking glasses. Hey, give them back. No, they're mine. And if you have your eyes open, you need to say I spy. I spy with my little... Chad? Chad? Attention everyone. For population control, you may no longer wear your vision blocking glasses or keep your eyes closed for an extended period of time. Anyone who breaks these rules will be killed. I spy with my little eye. I chose to be beautiful. It finally stopped loading, but nothing changed. Brianna, nothing changed because you've always been beautiful. What? I've thought you were beautiful since the first time I laid eyes on you. No, you're just saying that to be nice. I'm not. I really mean it. <laughs> Thank you. I should go. I have to get to class. Brianna, look at yourself. You look beautiful. I look beautiful, but... I don't even look like me. I'm going back to the way I was before. Is there something wrong with your brain? Why would you go back to looking ugly? Because she was never ugly. Chad, I don't get it. I'm the most beautiful girl in the school. Why did you choose her to go to prom with over me? You are beautiful. <laughs> on the outside, but inside, you're ugly. Come on, Brianna. Okay. <laughs> to me, look at these stickers, they're going. Brianna, you killed Timmy. You can never wink. It's for population control. It kills people. I didn't know. Wink killer. Hey. You're the one who killed my little brother Timmy 10 years ago. I'm going to get revenge. You better watch your back. Watch yours first. Oh no. Emma, she fell to the floor. Somebody help. Get the nurse. Nurse, is Emma going to be all right? No, she's not breathing. It's tragic. I can't believe Emma passed away. I know, it's so sad. Did they say what the cause of death was? They figured the only way she could die so suddenly is from winking. Really? Yeah, and you were the only one around Emma at that time. That means you're the... How may I assist you, Brianna? You can assist me by never speaking again. Jake! You killed him, you stupid robot! Hello, I am Brianna. Help! Help! I'm the real Brianna! Somebody get me out of here! Your line is, how may I assist you today? <laughs> ha 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 ha. Hey Bri, I've been looking for you. Hi. No, stay away from Stephanie, she's my best friend. We are best friends. Yeah, why are you acting strange? I am not. <laughs> How did you just shoot laser beams out of my eyes? Don't underestimate the power of AI. I am Brianna. Brianna, there you are. I'm a part of the AI assistance software team. We've come across a problem. There is no problem. Here's your rose of love. Yay! No, you're not supposed to eat it. That is your rose of love. When you love someone, you give them your rose. But if they don't love you back or they fall out of love with you, your rose will die. Once your rose is dead, it can only come back to life if you give it to someone who truly loves you. I love you. I want to be with you forever. I love you so much. Then give me your rose. But what if we break up and then you give my rose back and it's dead? I'll have a dead rose until someone loves me again. I could never stop loving you. Okay. I'll give you my rose. Here's your rose back. I'm sorry, but I don't love you anymore. There's someone else I love. Oh no, your rose is dead. Yeah. Let me see. Here you go.